Come with me guys as we make lentil stew with saltfish and coconut milk. Stay tuned for the video guys. hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl camille thank you for coming back today we'll be making lentil stew with saltfish and coconut milk so here i have my seasoning and i'll be showing you the different ingredients so there is the coconut milk that i have mixed right here because i'm using the coconut powder that's the lentil that i'll be using the seasoning I have to make so sweet pepper, onion, um, carrots, thyme, hot pepper, pumpkin. Right, those are the seasonings that I will be using. See what I'm pretty? Yeah, and then I'll that's the lentil that I already cooked because it's not hard to cook, so I cooked it. I put it down. Um, there is the little coconut milk again. The our fish that I will be using, our codfish, um, the seasonings that I will be using, some black pepper, some maggi, some fish and meat sauce, pickled pepper sauce, um, that's what jerk seasoning, oil to do the frying up, and I didn't use the ketchup, don't know why it's there. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the preparation of cooking remember to like share and subscribe guys tell a friend to tell a friend to come on over to it's camille's world lots of things in store for you just sit back relax and enjoy and try this dish guys it was awesome yeah so now we are going to put some coconut oil into our hot pot and I do apologize guys, but when I was putting the thing in the pot, the camera stopped. So I'm going to sit apart there, but there it is. All my seasonings. I place all my seasonings in the pot. Tomato, sweet pepper, onion, hot pepper, and thyme. And stir that. Let it um, saute a little in the pot. Mixing up everything in the oil to get that nice aroma. Guys, see that pretty? Wow, it's just awesome and i stirred it for some time just to get it all sauteed and you know a little bit cooked in the oil so the oil a bubble yeah and after i did all of that and made sure that you know it was well stirred in i then went ahead and added my coconut milk so I'm adding the coconut milk to the pot and I'm going to stir that in together. Make sure you get out all of it guys. <laughs> and you can use more or less. I used one packet of coconut milk. I think they said that's one coconut. I'm not so sure. And I'm sure it would have tasted so much better if I had used an, an actual coconut. But I didn't have any at the time. So I made do with what I had. And it tasted fine. So after I let it cook a little, I'm now adding my pumpkin. Now, this is optional. All the ingredients are optional, but I wanted to use all of these. And I added also my carrots so that they could get a little steamed in the coconut milk to mix up all that aroma and flavor, guys. This smelled so good. So good, guys. So when I did that, I stirred it and then I allowed it to simmer a little and then, you know, you continue with the rest of the stuff. So um, after doing all these, look at the colors, oh my, I mean, you could have this just as is, right? After it boiled up a bit, now I'm adding the lentil to that. So that it can cook in it a little so that you know everything get the different flavors look at that guys 
turn up all of that Ooh, nice and yummy and I mean I used about half of the pack of the lentil it was about half so you can use more or less depending on the amount you want to cook after I finished cooking and everything I'm sorry I didn't use the whole pack but anyway it can be made another day and you can decide what you want to put in it you don't have to put salt fish in it you can put something else in it right um and this can be had just as is too you know as a meal by itself but yeah so after i stirred that in because remember the peas was already cooked or the lentil i am now going to add my salt fish so that everything can be mixed in together to get all that flavor and if you realize i did not use any salt because the salt fish have been salt i soaked it and stuff to a nice you know nice taste not much salt but you know you're putting in coconut milk and stuff like that yeah you don't want it too salt and you don't want it to spoil the taste of the food so i did not use any salt in the pot so you could have called it an ital stew the rastas would love this yeah and the vegetarians this can be a vegetarian well it is actually a vegetarian kind of dish right so i stirred in all of that look at the colors guys it is so yummy now i'm adding some seasonings from powder seasonings i added black pepper and you can add more or less black pepper if you want i also added my maggi and it's three different maggi the fish the all-purpose and the chicken i mix all of them together and use them that's how i like to use them right and then i added some jerk seasoning yep i added some jerk seasoning to this and you as i said you can add any seasoning you can add in your celery your parsley whichever other powder seasoning you may use i'm now adding some fish and meat sauce not a lot because sometimes when i use a lot of these things you kind of throw off the taste for what you're looking for i didn't use a lot but a teaspoon and then i'm using some pickle pepper sauce yeah guys and then i'm going to stir that all in guys yeah so as i stir it in you see that steam the thing is coming together so nicely make sure you stir it well to make sure that everything is mixed together and you don't miss anything the sweet pepper the onion the hot pepper um the tomato yeah all of that all mixed in together the thyme all of the different um, powder seasoning that you may have used guys Ooh. the smell was awesome I'm not exaggerate not because I made it and the first time I made it you know guys my first time making this lentil stew and it was awesome I mean the the stew never lasted the next day that's just for sure your husband had a blast with it loved it sister mommy yeah everybody love it look at that bubbling so you cover it and let it steam now guys and then after you open it back look at that because it don't take long you know because as i said you know when your vegetables too soft and remember the peas was already cooked and you know you get the coconut and everything to cook in and may I add a little of chiffon butter here to just add some more flavor guys yeah look at that just awesome look at that wish you were here to get some guys it was awesome it was delicious delicious so after you stir it up and you know after you put in the chiffon and everything you can make it seem a little more and then you open it back and yeah that's it guys there's nothing more to it the steam and a black it so it hot and spicy and nice so now i'm sharing some out you know and as i said you can have this alone right look at that oh my gosh guys that was so good it's so good 
So you, as I said, you can have it alone, as I serving by itself to eat, or you can have it with food or rice, whatever it is that you want to have it with. I had mine with food. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend.